Okay, so today we are going to do kind of like a deal review. It's going to be one review, sure, sure, sure. But it's kind of like a deal review with um, kind of both elements. So we are going to review the Karen markers that are kind of like acrylic pens, but I needed to test that on something. So I decided, let me use my incredible Mossery art kit and I am going to combine the two together. Oh my goodness, my nose is so runny. We're going to combine the two together and we are going to have like a, you know, talk about some of the paper that's in the Mossery kit, but also focus solely on the Karen markers, which I've kind of rejiggled around into a totally different shape and pattern with the colors whoopsies so let's get started with that okay on opening the box you have these little mini boxes inside the box and up at the top there's like a little shelf that has all the information in the box it's a really well packaged box because they've really thought about their customers they know their pens need to lay flat so inside you have these mm, kind of magnetic clips and when you open it up you have this like little pocket area that gives you all the instructions extra stickers it tells you how to use the pens how to blend the pens how to um, transfer color how to kind of troubleshoot if they've stopped working how to re-activate um, them so there's a ton of information up at the top there and it's also great to store some extra paper on the front it's got what colors are in the box now i went through and put all similar colors together and they give you an extra sticker to do that so you can swatch the colors you've put into the box so you can see that I've put them kind of in color order which is a little bit different to what they had and those are the colors we're going to be swatching today all right we're going to be using these purples to kind of do a couple of little mini experiments with you can see the little um, magnetic front closure and then again it gives you instructions on how to use the pens and then they have a swatch area so you can put the original colors all back together they have a soft nylon tip and you can see the acrylic fluid inside the pen and it has a shake activation and you can hear the little ball inside to activate the paint inside the barrel which makes it really easy now I want to mention my amazing Mossery uh, <laughs> specifically paint pen book. I absolutely love this. Um, it's got like a smooth side and then a hard cover on the other side. I think it's like 260 GSM. So I'm giving the pen a quick shake first and you can again see the paint activating in the barrel. Quick shake just to make sure it's nice and juicy. And you'll see the minute I put it on the paper, it's a really, really, really liquidy, juicy pen. It's not too liquidy. It flows really well and it makes for really easy to do black br blush brush lettering um, so yeah really love the ease of use here the next thing we're going to have a look at is how to blend some of the colors and while the pen is like while the paint is still wet on the page and that's why I love these smooth pages you can see it's really easy to blend two colors together and the self-cleaning nylon tips also make it really easy to come back to the original color that was in your paint barrel now I'm going to show you how these look on beige or craft paper, black and white. Um, you can see that the color is incredibly opaque and it's just easy on the paper. It slides really well and even though it's a bright color, you can see them across all three paper colors. Even if we go with a lighter color, you can see that you can see the, um, the color across all three paper types again. And then again with a brighter color, you can see. And you can see the blending that we did a little bit earlier. It's still on the marker tip. Um, so it kind of creates this fun ombre, which is one of the instructions that they give you in the kind of little pamphlet that they give with you with your deco pens. So yeah, really simple to do. You can see they're bright, colorful, and opaque across black craft and white paper. Now the next thing I want to show you is how well they kind of um, layer on each other uh, once the pen is dry. So I'm going to specifically make a nice juicy block of red and while that juicy block of red is um, kind of drying I actually wanted to show you a little bit more about the Mossery uh, paint pen kit because I'm in love with this paper. 
So the, pay, the book is made specifically for uh, pain pens and it makes it smooth cover so, or smooth paper so that it's really easily blendable. And the kit itself, and I'm going to just move this aside while it dries, is the kit itself comes with a little instruction manual on how to blend colors, on what colors you get in your kit. Um, and then it's got a little swatch sheet already printed out for you on the really cool paper. And you can see in this particular one, I did a bubble tea. Um, where I blended the colors and used their color palette as an example. Now I've got two of these kits because I am so in love with them. So let me show you what I've done in the other one. You can see there is a ton of examples and little experiments for you to do. And some of them are really challenging and some of them are really easy. I um, found the mountain here quite challenging because the there was quite a lot of blending, but I think it actually came out really well. And they give you the example or, or kind of the picture to use. Um, and you can see when I put them next to each other that I think I did a pretty okay job. It wasn't amazing, but I think it was pretty close. Um, and getting that blending right is really challenging, but you can see that the colors have layered really well from the current deco paint. Um, there's tons of other examples in there and I just love how handy these books are I've been trying a couple of different styles on paint swatches as well um, just because I wanted to experiment a little bit and yeah I found it really fun using these art kits okay coming back to seeing how these layer um, you can see here that I'm using a pink over the red and they layer really well very opaque um, kind of covers it up really well and you can definitely see that you can layer a multitude of num uh, numbers colors over the original that you've created and I'm going to do a couple here with darker on light so that you can see that it covers really well um, you can't really see underneath which I love um, and yeah they're just so easy and so juicy to use okay we're halfway through and we are going to show you next how I swatch all the colors so we've done kind of an overview of what the pens are what they're like etc etc and now we're going to swatch all the colors now because I'm a little cuckoo couture I have created a downloadable swatch sheet that you can use grab that it's really simple it's just a couple of boxes and you can put the names underneath um, but it has enough boxes for all of the colors and you can actually print that onto any colored paper that you have um, which makes it really easy i've put it in an a5 size in case you want to print it and put it into your notebook because that's kind of what i do so hopefully that's what you do too so you can grab that from the in the description below i've got a link there for you to do that with watching my orange set and I'm going to be putting it on the really cool mossery paper and then I'm also going to be putting it on dark paper and craft paper or black paper and craft paper and you will be able to see that you can see the opaqueness and it is gorgeous I'm going to swatch all of the colors today um, so I'm going to speed this up and give you some nice relaxing music while I finish swatching all of them I've got a couple of favorites in there which is really cool so let's keep going
Okay, abrupt stop. Now, the pamphlet that comes with this pen set is phenomenal. It really goes into detail around troubleshooting, how to care for your pens, what you can do if they stop working, how to store them. It really covers every eventuality, which I really like about this. But in here, they also say that it doesn't bleed through and there's some things that they claim that they can do on the, with these pens, specifically around using them on wood or metal or um, plastic. So we're gonna give that a go right now to see if it's true. First claim is that it doesn't bleed through paper. So I'm using a heavy 160 GSM paper here. And later I'm gonna use some copy paper, but for now we're going to use just a nice bright juicy orange and we're going to do some thick lines and have a look. Nope, no bleeding. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. So no bleeding. There is definitely ghosting, but no bleeding, which is cool. Um, great, <laughs> tick one for them. All right, they then say that it can work on wood. So let's give it a go on wood. We're gonna give it a moment to let it dry, but yeah, we'll give it, give it a go on wood. They then say some glass. So I've got a little glass here that we can try on. Okay, let that one dry as well. Um, they also say it works on plastic. Um, usually stuff doesn't really stay on plastic, so let's give that a go too. I've got a little laminated pouch here, which we can maybe wash off later, but we'll see. Um, give that the opportunity to dry. Next one is a fabric. So we're using it just on the fabric here and we'll give that a go as well. It's actually quite hard to write on the fabric. It dries the ink out a little bit. So I have a feeling that it's not great on fabric and you maybe need a smoother cotton, um, but hey, it's dry anyway. Um, all right, and then for metallic, I've got this paintbrush here because it's the only metallic thing I could find on the spot. Ha <laughs> ha. So let's see how those go. Give them a moment to dry and then we're going to test them out. Now, while they're drying, we're going to test out this copy paper as well, which is only 80 GSM. And I thought this would be a good opportunity. So grabbing that orange pen again and giving it a hard, squishy look. Um, and let's have a look. So it's low GSM on the copy paper. Let's turn it over. No bleeding, but definitely ghosting. I can see some rippling from the dampness of the pen, but that's about it. All right, let's see if these are dry. Yep, that's pretty dry. Not a, No transfer on my finger. On the wood, yep, dry, dry as a bone. On the glass as well, this is really amazing, I'm gonna say. And then on, yeah, it doesn't rub off. Okay, that's really awesome. Okay, we're at the end of our mini review and I I have to say that these are some of my favorite paint markers only because they are so easy to use and they come with such detailed instructions. You saw those instructions. They are so detailed and they really live up to the expectation, right? We tested them on all of those different mediums. They seem to work on all of the different mediums. So I'm really excited to see what you end up creating. So feel free to comment in the comments below what you end up creating. Um, I think they're a great alternative to say the Posca pens or the uh, Archer and Oliver Acrylograph pens. I think they are fantastic just because of that ease of use and the wide variety of colors and the attention to the detail in the packaging. I just absolutely love that. They've really thought about what their customer needs and wants and made it as simple as possible for people to use. So really excited to see how you use those. Please, as always, if you have enjoyed this conversation and this review, please hit the subscribe button and like and follow or whatever it is, or join me over on Instagram where I hang out the most. I look forward to seeing you next time and have an amazing day or evening wherever you are.